I mean, yeah, I mean, we talk about intervention whenever we see 144, 145, 146. Uh, are we thinking straight, though, David Finnerty? <laughs> No, I think the base of history, that is the area where there has been intervention before. I think you can certainly expect some verbal intervention, uh, whether there's actual intervention itself, uh, is, is we'll have to wait and see. But certainly we are in that territory where, you know, the, the, you start getting the verbal of, well, well, the rhetoric going, you know, we're worried about one-sided moves and stuff. So, you know, historically, this is an area the market's concerned about because of intervention. And if you look at implied volatility in dollar-yen, you'll see that rise. I'm Exactly that worry. It's like, you know, you could see whether it's verbal or actual specific intervention. The market is jittery about it um, and said option pricing has risen as a result of that as it's factored in. It, it, how much higher do you think dollar yen can go then? Mm. Yeah, well, this is an interesting question. It's like, you know, obviously it depends on what US yields do. If they continue to push higher, then obviously the risks are skewed towards it, it, it advancing. Now, having said that, of course, it's how high will uh, will it be allowed to go before there is intervention. So it's really tough to say, if I'm honest. I mean, if you do get, said, if US yields push higher, the tendency is to drift up to that 146 area. You certainly when you get around 146, 147, the markets will be very concerned about intervention there. So it's really tough to say, if I'm honest. I mean, it really depends on, said, Really, U.S. yields, where do they go in the near term? Obviously, we're looking at supply and how that's impacting it. But you're seeing yields push high at the moment. If they break through this year's you know, recent highs, then um, you know, risks are skewed towards dollar yen pushing higher. Uh, so what's top of mind for you this week? Is there any specific event, uh, let's, let, let me rephrase that question, that might trigger further dollar strength? We've seen, I think, the Bloomberg dollar index is up, what, four straight weeks. Uh, Neil Kashkari's on deck. Uh, to speak, you have Fed minutes coming out. Uh, what is what, what's top of mind for you, David? Yeah, I think obviously any Fed speakers are big, and you've alluded to the Fed minutes. I think that'd be very important. Um, you know, how hawkish are they? And then also, remember, it's not just the dollar side of the equation, it's the other currency side of the equation. So if you look at um, UK for sterling, you're looking at obviously inflation data and employment data. Now, that comes in, we those come in weaker than expected, will put pressure on sterling. That therefore is dollar positive. So I'd be looking at those as well as the FOMC minutes. Uh, about an hour back, the, the PBOC came in with you know a sizable, a sizable fix relative to estimates. I mean, I mean, certainly with the dollar story, it's not surprising they're coming in at that level with a reference rate. And I'm wondering whether we should expect policymakers uh, in China to continue, at least to try and anchor the currency with the dollar strength you mentioned, David. Yeah, I mean, certainly I think the fix seems it's going to keep coming in stronger. I mean, they're, tr they're trying to anchor it, but it's tough. You're seeing just broad dollar strength. So it's not just, you know, the yuan weakness. It, it's dollar strength, you know, across the board. But he said they're trying to anchor in it. But if you have these, certainly if you get more risk off coming on, that's also dollar positive. US yields pushing high is dollar positive. So it's very tough to limit um, yuan weakness. Again, it's in line with its other peers. Um, so it, the PBOC will try its best. But but at the end of the day, if a dollar just so if US yields push higher and risk sentiment sort of deteriorates, it's just risks are skewed towards further dollar weakness, and that's bad side for the yuan, and certainly in the near term.